Okay guys, so you've got your equipment um, items here. Um, this has got all your cargo crates on it. It's got your CO2 scrubbers, your air scrubbers there. It's got the reworked conduit on it. We have a storage locker, okay? And we even managed to fit a bunk bed on there, okay? Um, so um, yeah, let's um, let's take these ones one at a time. I'm gonna take out the uh, the, the cargo crates first. Okay, so starting with the large cargo crate first. Okay, we um, this looks pretty good. What you're going to need is you're going to need the two long side bits, these bits here, and they are located right next to. Okay, because they are very slightly different. Okay, um, you've got the lid, and you've got two of these padded bits. One of which has got the yellow texture on the bottom. That becomes the base. This is the part that gives you the option for a more secure lid if you want to use it. Okay, so these are really simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna slot these together. Now remember, you might need to make some adjustments. Um, oh, not that way. <laughs> you're gonna need uh, long to short, okay? You might need to make some adjustments uh, to some of these slots, okay? So, um, and if you do, of course, just make those adjustments with your thingy me what's it, okay? Um, Whoops, done it again. Okay, so we're gonna pop that together like so. Do, 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 do. That's a nice tight fit. This one might need a bit of adjustment here actually, but I'm just gonna shove it in anyway. Because I do like the tight fit. Do, do. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so pop that down. Lovely, that's really, really good. Okay, so you got that. There's your little, there's your little, uh, your little crate. You then take not that one. You then take this bit here, and you're actually going to push it down, okay, uh, inside. Uh, and it goes, it slots in. And as you push it down, you can. I don't know if you can hear that. The tension holds it in place. Now, of course, you don't need to take these apart. So you can, of course, glue that in place. Uh, many of you do, I know that, uh, but you don't need to because it's there. Then you pop your lid on top and that is your little cargo crate which you can get in, which is fantastic. But of course we also have this little option here which allows you to make the cargo crate a little bit more kind of sturdy as far as the lid not just sort of coming off too easily. Okay, and all you need to do is you need to bob a little bit of glue underneath that and that allows you to then hold it in place and I'll do that now for you. Okay and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, a little bit of liquid super glue with a brush just because I know it's nice and nice and quick. Okay so I'm going to do that and I'm going to place it the best I can so it's got an even edge all the way around and hold it. Okay, so what happens now is this is all glued on, okay? Um, everything's held in by tension. Just pull this a little bit in case it's in slightly and that should give you enough room to be able to just pop that on there like that and now you've got this little cargo crate which is really, really cool because it's got a lid on it which you can pop open, put it back Okay, really, really cool. So there's a cargo crate, and the small cargo crates are exactly the same. Okay, so um, I'll just pop one of those together. And there you have it, nice and simple, all done and dusted. Okay, so the red cargo crates are exactly the same as the yellow ones, just different color. What do we tackle next? I think we can have a look at um, the bed. Um, and there's a half cut here. Mm -hmm. Little half cut there. You've got a tiny little stand. Pop that in there. And then you've got a little tiny cut in there and you can literally just rest that in there. Now this one's a bit loose. Okay, so, and again, you're not gonna want to dissemble this in any way, shape or form. So you could just pop a little bit of glue on the tab and along there, and basically you've got this really cool little bed, which is fantastic. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the bed. What else have we got? So with the locker, we've gone, we've got half cuts here, but we've gone for this really nice smooth kind of curve. So the half cuts on this are, 
less, more shallow, less, less deep, more shallow, I guess. So you'll need a bit of kind of pinching and holding it just to get that nice curve in there. Okay, and you can see it's nicely curved underneath. That's probably enough. Okay, and also looking at this, I might need a little bit of slot adjustment, certainly for this top bit. And these ones here seem okay, so that's cool. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the bottom bit first. It's important you put you locate the bottom part in first and push it down as far as you can. And then this bit here goes in the top and then you can adjust it up. Same as on this side, push it in, take it down as far as you can. It goes a little bit too far. And then bring this over here slot that in like so and then it just pulls back up slightly and that locks it into place as it were okay so there is your really cool little um, uh, unit now the way those work is they can actually slot onto the bottom of your walls but what we've done here is we've given you the option in the Kickstarter and in the sets that we use, we don't use these tabs at all, okay? So we basically, we just cut them off completely. So I would go boom, boom, cut it off. But I know some of you guys are like, well, I want it secure to the wall. I, want, I don't want things moving around if I can't get away with it. And so we give you, because it's not as wide as both of these slots here, we give you the option, you might want it on the left or the right. So I'm gonna just give you an example and I'm gonna nip this off here. Wee, bye-bye. Okay, uh, and now um, it becomes slottable into a wall like that. And that can now be wherever it is you want it to be, okay? Um, or you could have, so if you've got, you're going to probably end up with a few of these, you can have one each side and that allows you to put one here and maybe one very close next to each other and so on and so forth, okay? But just remember that we don't actually use, um, we don't actually use these tabs at all. We like to literally just have the ability to put them anywhere on the wall. So if I nip that off as well, bye. Oh, that looks like a bullet. Okay, now you can just do whatever you want and that's how we did it on the Kickstarter. You can put these absolutely anywhere. So we added the tabs just for an option. If you don't want them, snip them off. Okay, lovely, okay. So um, what we got next? I'm gonna go with the conduit. I'm saving the air scrubber for last because it's a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing. Um, okay, so so here, this is just for any of you that's had the original sci-fi um, and uh, or the urban um, one. Uh, Conduit is exactly, it's really pretty much the same, but it's got a nice curved design on it. I'm just looking here to see if there's any uh, slot adjustments, and I reckon there might be a little adjustment I need to make just here. So I'm just going to snip one of these a bit wider. Okay, so um, what you can do is you'll notice you've got some half cuts in here. Now these need a bigger curve, so these half cuts are a little bit deeper. You would not believe the tooling tolerances we go through to get it like this. Crazy. Okay, so there you go, a little bit of a curve, probably over curved, but that's good, adds a bit of tension. Okay, um, what we're gonna do before we put this top curved bit on, we're gonna assemble this little back piece and it goes in and under at the back here, like so. And the same on the other side, like so. So you end up with that basically, okay. Then you'll notice on this curve, we've got this curves right close to here. The one with the big wires on it has got a flat piece. It's the flat piece that runs along the flat bit at the top. So I'm gonna put that in like so. And last but not least, I'm just going to put that in the top. Because of those little adjustments I made, <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so um, that goes on there. And if I grab a wall again, just like the others, we've got a slot here. Um, and because these are affected quite quite a lot by gravity, you don't want to clip this off, you always want it, it will rest against the wall, but you always want it clipped into a wall in some in some way, shape or form. So we can push it into a wall there like that, okay? Um, and that can be 
basically you know your conduit they look really really cool and you know from a sci-fi point of view you know absolutely needed so there you go that only leads leads that only leaves us with the air scrubbers okay so again i'm just going to check for slot adjustments on that this is all good that's good that's good that all seems pretty good yeah i reckon i've got one just at the top there okay um, you might want to test these before you, uh, you know, just try the slots before you do it. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, we're going to take this big this big piece here, which is going to go right in the center, and we're going to slot it into these big center slots first. And actually, that slot there is a little bit tight, but because these slots here are quite wide, I'm going to leave that tight on the basis that I think it'll help grip it and keep it together. Don't worry if you have loose slots because you can always, you know, just drop a little bit of glue in there if you need to. Okay, so I'm going to pop those in first, like that, and that's the first part. And already that is solid, absolutely brilliant. Okay, kind of looks like back of an airplane, some weird vehicle. Um, okay, so then you've got um, the second one. Okay, and you can tell these apart from these ones because they've got they haven't got the the colouring texture. It's more of a blank, just red texture. And that one, that one goes in the next one up, and they're recessed back a bit, which allows this to kind of sit inside here, um, as it were. Okay. Then you've got two left. You've got one quite small, one quite large. Okay. Um, just pop the small one in the top like so. Ooh, this is lovely. And this comes right up to the edge and meets here, which leaves us with this one at the bottom, which we're going to slot in there. Oh, I love this one. Okay. Uh, and then we've got our little uh, little piece here, which is going to go in there, and you kind of just lift and fidget it into place, and it should drop just in here. I'm putting my finger underneath to pull this out a little bit to allow it to drop in. Um, we got the tightness of this really good because on our prototype oops, it was a little bit loose um, so this is nice and tight. Okay wow look at that that is absolutely brilliant okay um, and you know they just look great up against a wall like that as an air scrubber or like this as well okay um, and you can put two together or four and make all sorts of crazy sort of designs and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, that, that is your equipment sheet. Brilliant.